assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome to negro physics lecture uh, and uh, this lecture we will talk about neutron observing materials i'm dr provez ahmed uh, before starting the neutron observing materials uh, let's start something very important uh, which uh, related with the uh, neutron absorptions uh, in any types of the materials that we call cross sections. Uh, we have already discussed about the cross sections, but let's uh, briefly define and discuss uh, about uh, the cross sections. So, uh, what is the cross sections and why it's important uh, with the materials? So, uh, the cross sections are an example of the cross section is uh, the likelihood of particular interactions between an acid and neutrons. Uh, and a target nucleus. I mean, this is uh, this is the most simple definition of the cross sections. Uh, that is, uh, it's uh, it's the likelihood of a particular interaction between an incident neutron and a target nucleus. So the standard units uh, for the cross section uh, uh, we call bond, and one bond. Uh, is equal to 10 raised to power minus 28 uh, meter square. So this is uh, the standard definitions for uh, the cross section. The neutron uh, cross sections uh, basically depend upon uh, the target nucleus uh, or isotope uh, type of the interactions uh, that is uh, capture, uh, fission, etc. Uh, neutrons energy. Uh, the target nucleus that is uh, the temperatures uh, the temperature of the target materials so uh, here you can see in this particular diagram uh, I mean in which the, the cross section is plotted against uh, the energy of the uh, respective neutrons or the incoming neutrons so here you can see the, the cross sections that is uh, the cross section is inversely proportions to uh, uh, the energy of the incident uh, neutrons that is uh, the target to strike the nucleus. So here you can see uh, in this particular diagram uh, that is uh, for uh, thermal neutrons. Uh, I mean, uh, in this particular regions uh, up to this particular point, here you can see that uh, that is for th uh, thermal new uh, uh, thermal regions. Uh, the cross section that is uh, the absorption cross sections uh, has a higher value. The absorption cross section has a higher value for the thermal neutron, but uh, when we enter uh, the regions of the fast neutron or the fast regions, so there you can observe uh, this is the fast regions. Uh, so uh, here you can see that uh, the value of the absorption cross sections uh, is being uh, reduced for uh, the fast neutron. So this is a little bit about uh, the cross section, the absorption cross sections. So now let's analyze, uh, let's discuss about uh, different uh, neutron absorbing uh, materials. So here, just like you can see it in, in this particular uh, table, here on the left hand side we have the atoms, that is the kind of the atoms. In the middle we have the absorption cross sections and the units are burned. Uh, and on the right hand side we have the uses so uh, in this table uh, at number first we have uh, hydrogen atoms and deuterium hydrogen and iso uh, it's isotope uh, deuterium so uh, the cross section for the hydrogen is 0 0.33 bond uh, for the deuteriums uh, the cross section is 0 0.00059 uh, bond uh, I mean, this is this is the cross section for. I mean, these are the cross section for the hydrogen and deuterium, and the main uses of hydrogens uh, and uh, deuterium is uh, as a moderator and a nuclear uh, reactions. I mean, so whenever we are dealing with the neutrons, so the role of hydrogens uh, and uh, deuterium, uh, uh, I mean, it work as a, a moderators. Then we have at number second we have lithium. So lithium have two isotopes. Uh, one is lithium six, and the other is lithium seven. Uh, so uh, natural lithium, that is, this is the natural lithium. Natural lithium has uh, the cross section. That is the absorption cross section equal to seventeen point five. Uh, 
but the lithium sex has a larger cross section this is lithium sex red in red color and here uh, the cross section is also specified in red so the uh, observing cross section of lithium sex is a 940 burn similarly the uh, the cross section of lithium 7 is very small and it's equal to 0 0.045 burn so uh, the main role of lithium uh, i mean uh, and the nuclear reactions is basically uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been uh, utilized as a source of uh, tritium uh, as a specification of uh, moderators. I mean, these are being the roles uh, which have been played by uh, lithium and nuclear uh, reactors. Uh, boron and in isotopes, uh, boron 10, that is uh, natural boron and boron 10. So uh, the cross section of the natural boron is uh, 76 bond uh, and uh, data boron 10 is uh, 3835 bond. The main roles of the borons inside uh, the reactor and inside uh, uh, the neutrons uh, based uh, nuclear reactor uh, it's working there as a shielding or uh, it's been utilized in the development of neutron based detectors. I mean that that might be a gas well detectors in which uh, uh, boron based gas is being utilized this boron trifluoride it's maybe a solid state neutron detector in which a boron based uh, I mean solid state uh, semiconductor might be utilized just like people they are talking about uh, boron nitride semiconductors uh, then we have cobalt uh, and the, the observing cross section of the cobalt is 37.2 burns uh, the uses of uh, cobalt include medical radiotherapy or nuclear uh, reaction product. Uh, then we have rhodium. The, the cross section for rhodium is 144.8 burn. And the use is uh, it's not specified here on this particular uh, uh, presentations. And then we have cadmium. Uh, cadmium has uh, absorption cross section 2520 and it's working as a shielding materials. Uh, and then we have anium. The anium cross section has uh, 193.8 bond. Uh, again, there is no specification, uh, specific uses for uh, uh, the anium in this particular uh, slide. Then we have samarium, and samarium has absorption cross section of, of 5,922, uh, and it, it's been utilized as a control rod, uh, decay product at a nuclear reaction. Then we have gadanium uh, and uh, and its isotopes are 155 and 157. So gadanium uh, gadanium uh, has uh, the highest cross sections for the thermal neutron. That is for the natural neutron, the absorption cross section for gadanium gadanium has uh, 49,700 bond. Uh, for its isotopes, uh, gadanium 155, uh, the cross section is uh, 611, uh, 661,000 uh, bond. Uh, and for its isotope, uh, uh, 157 isotope, uh, the value of the absorption cross section is uh, uh, 259,000 bond. This is the highest ever. Uh, absorption cross section for a thermal neutron and uh, the uses of all these isotopes uh, I all isotopes of gadanium is uh, I mean uh, 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 is as a shielding materials uh, in other words we can say that gadanium uh, is mainly utilized as a neutron shielding uh, materials and we have uraniums in uranium the most famous is uranium 235 uh, isotopes so uh, the, uh, the absorption cross section of natural uranium is 7.59, uh, 7.57 bond, while that of uranium 235 uh, is uh, 681 bond. And uranium is basically utilized as uh, a nuclear fuel. So this is all we have for uh, neutron absorbing material. I mean, all that you see is uh, in this particular slide. Uh, are the neutron absorbing uh, material and this is the cross sections for all these material and these are the uses of all these uh, material so this is all we have for uh, neutron absorbing material see you in uh, next lecture
Till then, bye bye.